Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about home defense shotguns or shotgun reality check. Now, after we did the Joe Biden women's defense video, a lot of folks were like, well, what are you trying to say, Paul? Do you not believe a shotgun is good for you know personal defense? Well, yes, I believe a shotgun is good for personal defense. This shotgun right here is a Remington 870. It's the classic 870 that was reworked by Wilson Combat. And this is an excellent home defense tool. But like any other firearm, whether it's a handgun, rifle, or a shotgun, you need to understand what it is you have and the capabilities of that tool. Because firearms are not magical talisman that provide a cone of protection around you and your home. Okay, you might actually be called upon to use it and you need to prepare yourself for that eventuality. And what I think you should do is I think you should take the shotgun that you're planning to use for home defense, if that is your desire, and whatever ammunition you've decided you're going to use and you need to actually get your butt to the range and you need to test those out. Now, the greatest thing about a shotgun, the greatest thing about a 12-gauge shotgun like this, especially a pump action, is that it is very, very versatile. And that is the big selling tool for 12-gauge shotguns. You can put birdshot, buckshot, slugs, specialty rounds, all kinds of stuff into a shotgun, and that's one of its big selling points. It's also one of its greatest detriments. And you're like, what? How can that be a detriment? Well, the detriment is, is people out there, they get confused or they have almost too much information or too many choices to make. A lot of folks have said, well, you know, for home defense shotgun, the best thing is birdshot because then you don't have any over penetration issues. And, uh, you know, and birdshot at close range is devastating. Well, yeah, but what's close range? Two feet? One foot? three feet, uh, where do you plan on using this? If someone can reach out and touch you with their arm, they're a little bit closer than I would like them to be. Uh, but you need to understand that not everyone is going to be two feet from you. Hopefully they won't get that close. Hopefully you'll be behind cover and there's some area between you and them. What if they're 25 feet away and they have a pistol and they're cacking away at you and you've got a shotgun with birdshot? your tool is pretty ineffective at 25 feet uh, compared to a pistol. Now, what I want you guys to do, and pick out whatever load you want. Now, this load right here, uh, I'll get it real close to the camera so you can see it, uh, is a tactical buckshot load from Federal. Federal's making some excellent personal defense loads for the shotgun in with their flight control wads. Uh, they have a double out buck with a flight control wad. This one right here, is a number one buck. Uh, these are really good personal defense, home defense loads. And they stay together very well. Now here's the challenge I'm gonna offer to you guys right out there at home. If you're going to use a shotgun for home defense, for personal defense, you know, keep it by the bed or whatever you're gonna do. What I want you to do is go around your home and pace off what you think will be the longest shot that you may have to make. You know, be practical. I mean, you're not. I'm, we're not talking about shooting people down the road with buckshot or something like that. If you know you the crash in the night and you wake up and you know the dogs are barking and someone's trying to get in your house, pace off what you think is the longest shot that you may have to make. Now, depending on where you live, the size of your home, whether or not you have. You know, maybe you have your house is configured differently where you, it's two parts of the home or multi-level or what have you, but be practical. Now, in my personal house, my home, I paced it off and I found that the longest shot I was probably going to have to make was right around between 30 and 35 feet, not yards, but feet. And that's a, a long hallway from one end, like say if I had my back to one wall and there's a bad guy and he had his back to that wall, it might have to be a 35 foot shot. Now some of you might live in mansions and you have a 100 foot shot. Or some of you might live in little cracker box apartments and you know, 10 feet is as far as you can get across your room. It's up to you. But what I want you to do is after you've paced that off, after you've figured out, all right, the longest shot, the longest straight shot that I would have to make in and around my home is, let's just use 30 feet as an example. Now I want you to take whatever load, whether it's a field load, whether it's double-op buck, or whether it's a slug, 
I want you to take your gun and your ammunition, I want you to go to the range, take a cardboard silhouette, put it out at exactly that distance. Say, okay, 30 feet, we put it out at 30 feet, line it up and fire, and see what your pattern, now if it's a slug, the pattern is going to be one big fat hole, that's it. Now if you're using double out buck or field load or number one, four, what have you, fire it into that silhouette and see what you've got. Now, if you're using a flight control wad from Federal and you fire it at 30 feet, it's probably going to be pretty darn tight. It's going to be an inch or two across, maybe. And this is where we get into the, you can't miss with a shotgun mythology. People, that's of all the stupid things that are said in gun shops across America, probably in the top five is, you just need to get a shotgun because you can't miss with a shotgun. I don't know where this shotgun is. Uh, maybe it's a zero gauge, you know, with a uh, hundred pellets in it. Uh, but the whole, you can't miss with a shotgun is stupidity. So stop saying it if you're saying it. And when someone says it, says it to you, just like, okay, guy, I got it. You can go away now. But uh, if, if you're shooting something, let's say, all right, 30 feet. you And your pattern is maybe three inches, four inches across. Okay, great. Uh, but three or four inches across is a pretty small pattern. Take that three or four inches and put it here, or here, or here, or here. Uh, it is possible to miss with a shotgun. <gasps> I know you're like, oh, blasphemy. All right, now that you've done 30 feet, let's say you've done 30 feet, the farthest practical shot that you can imagine taking in and around your home. Gotcha. Take a silhouette target, the same one or a new one, move it in five feet. Move it in 10 feet. Move it in so that it's only, you know, seven feet, eight feet away from you. Now take a look at the size of that pattern. You say, well, now it's only like an inch across or, you know, two inches across. It's pretty small. Yeah, you can miss with buckshot. You need to know what you're doing. Now, don't be confused by the, the tight pattern being somehow ineffective on the human target. There's a big difference. When, if you've got nine pellets and they hit in a group that's only about two inches across, once they hit that tor human torso, they go in, start spreading out and doing all their nasty business. So don't worry about that. But it is possible to miss with a shotgun. Now, another thing you need to consider is how hard does the ammunition kick? What is the real, no kidding, felt recoil in that ammunition? If you're shooting a high brass uh, deer slug, it's going to hurt. You say, well, it's no problem. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm, a, I, I don't, I'm not recoil sensitive, whatever that means. Yeah, but it's not always you with the gun in your hand. It might be your wife. It might be your oldest teenage daughter. Okay, can your teenage daughter, if she picks that up, she's going to be like, this thing's going to hurt me. I don't want to hold it. You need to th take things like that into account. Uh, and if I was going to keep a gun at home, as a home defense gun, I would make sure that every adult in the home was able to use it effectively. Not just hold it, but actually use it effectively. And that comes, you know, there's a big, uh, the big question mark there is not what you can do is what can every adult in your home, wife, daughter, sons, what have you, can they work the tool as well as you? Because I would uh, feel pretty bad if I left home and my family didn't have the ability to defend themselves because I wasn't there. Because I'm not always going to be there. And when it comes to home defense shotguns, number one, yes, you can miss with a shotgun. You need to get out to the range and you need to test your shotgun with the ammunition that you're planning to use to guard the castle. Test them both together and see what is reality and what is mythology. Okay, check those out. And once you've got, you know, if you've got a, a relatively low recoiling or reduced recoil law enforcement load, everybody in your house, every adult in your house can run it like a champ. Drive on. You're good to go, dude. But if your wife won't even pick up the shotgun because it hurts too bad, you might want to consider using something else. So, from you to me, go out there and work with reality, not mythology. Now, what's our recommended reading today? Recommended reading is one of my favorite books. I think I read this for this book 
20 some years ago and if you haven't read it i would suggest you check it out it's called wyatt earp frontier marshal by stuart lake this was the official biography of wyatt earp and it was written many many moons ago but you can still pick them up on amazon.com we'll put the link up for you uh, it's, it's just kind of a a cool uh you know stuart lake obviously liked Wyatt Earp. He, 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 it's not a, uh, an expose in any manner. He, he liked Wyatt Earp when he wrote the book. But there's a lot of history in it, a lot of Western history uh, laced throughout the, the hundreds of pages. So Wyatt Earp, Frontier Marshal by Stuart Lake. I, I recommend that as a good reader.